Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and I'm back again with another very informative video. And in this video, we are going to see how actually to visualize the drill hole data in 3D inside QGIS. We all know that QGIS is actually an open source 2D GIS software, but we will show you and I will show you in this video how actually you can display the drill holes in 3D inside QGIS. I've already uh, covered how to visualize or how to manage drill hole data inside QGIS, but that was not in 3D, that's basically managing the data itself. And if you're interested in that, uh, you can check that out. Uh, I've already published that video. So uh, we are going to see how to see them in 3D. So stick to the end of the video and uh, if you're watching this on YouTube please make sure to subscribe and hit that like button if you like this that will encourage me a lot and help with the YouTube algorithm to show this to people who are actually interested in these kind of topics so uh, without further ado let's get to it so the first thing that we'll need we actually are going to need some uh, two additional third-party plugins so don't worry about that they're just a matter of typing their names to get them installed okay so if you don't know how to install a, a new plugin in QGIS all you have to do is to go to plugins the plugins menu and then go to manage and install plugins okay so you can see that we have a search bar in here so what do we need to do is you need to search by the way you need to be connected to the internet so not connected right now but all you have to do is to type in geoscience so you will see that you have this geoscience so then in your case you're going to have install button in here you, all you have to do is to click on install and you will install this geoscience uh, plugin so then you will notice in the menu that you will have this geoscience tools in here okay then the next plugin is going to be QGIS. It's QGIS 23GS. So you can type that in in the search bar and you can see that we have this triangle icon in here. Then all you have to do also is to select that and click on install, okay? After you will install these two plugins, that's all you need to do, okay? Then you will notice also that we have a geoscience uh, menu that's been added in here. And you can see also that we have this triangle in here, which will allow us to visualize things in 3D. Okay. Now, what you need to do is to bring in the data that you need to use. So in our case, we will need the color survey and geology tables. Like for like any other kind of software, uh, mining software would uh, need such a, such a table. So we go to layer. In order to import a new layer, so we need to go to the menu layer, that's obvious. So you go to add layer, and what are we going to do since we're talking about a CSV file, then we're talking about a text file, then all we have to do is to go to add delimited text layer, okay? So let's go and import that color file that we need. It's this one, color, and you can see that we have the ID, X, Y, and Z, and the depth. So you need to, if in your case, for example, if you have easting and northing or something else, you need to specify the X field, the Y field, and the coordinate system. Okay? Then if it's subdivided by semicolon, you need to pick semicolon. If it's uh, delimited by space or tab, you need to specify that in here. Okay? Now the first field uh, has the uh, field name. So if you uncheck this one, you can see that this one had been added, which is wrong. So the first field actually contains the name of the different columns we have. So let's add this. Now that's the color table. Since we have coordinates in the color table, we will be able to import this as point data. But for the survey and geology table in which we don't actually have like some spatial coordinates, we need to import these as tables. So let me show you an easy way to do that. So you have to select the geology and survey and drag and drop them inside Q. Sorry, that's the wrong QGIS. Uh, so, okay, let's just uh, hide this and let me bring them here. Oh, sorry again. So let me close this, discard. And because I have two, 
uh, session open so let me go and throw them in here and you can see that they're displayed as tables since we don't have actually some uh, coordinates in them to be displayed as either points line or lines or polygons okay so the next thing that we need to do is to go to the geoscience and go to drilling and D survey holes okay then you can see that it is going to pick the color table that's the color table the ID the east thing is X the north thing is Y if you have the azimuth and the dip inside the color table you can specify the different columns in here but if you don't have them uh, the elevation is the Z by the way so if you have a survey table you can specify the uh, ID the azimuth and the dip in here okay so then we click on OK and you can see now since in my case here the the drill holes are actually vertical so there are actually some vertical lines in here so that's why we don't see them but they exist you can see that we have the color D survey in here okay then what we need to do is we go to uh, drill hole uh, drilling downhole data so we the this one could be either some assay data or some geology data okay so let's go and import that this is the D survey and then we have the geology table in which we have the ID the from and to you can see that we have all the different tables in here that we need to import so let's click on OK and you can see that we have the downhole geology created for us so let's go to properties and then symbology and now what we need to do is to create some symbols or some colors based on the lithology column so if we go so let me just show you what I'm doing here if I go to this one and right click and go and open the attribute table you will notice that I have a bunch of coordinates and I have a lithology in which we have different formations in here F1 F2 and so on okay so I want uh, the uh, software QGIS to create unique colors for every single one of these formations so the colors are going to be based on these formations so let's go to properties and symbology and now we don't want single symbol we want them to be uh, categorized okay and they're going to be categorized based on what based on the column lithology okay then we can choose uh, they could be either random color or we can choose some color maps in here so let's make them random color and click on classify you can see now that I have F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6 and so on an additional one here let's go and delete that so they have different colors and let's click on apply and click on OK they're not visible yet because they're not in 3D and they like I said they're just this is a plan view and they're vertical drill holes so if you have inclined the drill holes, you might see some lines in here based on the dipping direction. Okay. Now the next thing is actually the second plugin, which will allow us to view these drill holes in 3D. So we click on this uh, QGS23 uh, GS, and you can see that we have all the different layers in here. Okay. Now if you have like a DEM, which is a digital elevation model and I actually have uh, a lot of like three or four tutorials I guess on how to actually get a DDM for any place in the world so uh, make sure to check that out and uh, you can actually have the topography so we'll be displaying the topography and the different uh, drill holes so let's go and display the, the colors uh, in 3D you can see there are a bunch of points this is actually the location of all the different drill holes okay now we have actually uh, lines one of them is actually the geology and we have also if you want to just see the trace of the drill holes we can see the trace in here okay so in case you have for example used the assay and you have just you know uh, there's no samples in here and a sample in here and no sample so it will be good to visualize the trace and on the top of it you visualize the assay data but, but in our case we have some lithological you know uh, layers uh, in every single interval so we don't need this uh, one in our case so some of you might be thinking hey but they look like very thin so we can fix that so you go to right click and go to property 
And what I advise you to do is instead of increasing the, uh, the thickness, go just to line and choose pipe. And I, it looks good here, okay? For me, this is, looks better and you can see all the different lithologies and they are in 3D, okay? So if you have the topography, like I said, you can display the topography and this will allow you at least to have an idea about the uh, shape of the deposit and give you an idea about how the drill holes actually looks like without buying, you know, an, ex you know, an expensive mining uh, package, okay? So um, let me show you just before I end this tutorial something really amazing also that you can do with this uh, plugin which is actually creating cross sections okay let's hide this one and what we can do is we can go to geoscience and go to drillings and section manager okay then you can see how is or how much is the width of the section you want it to be so these are gonna be the uh, so if I for example digitize a line in here so it's going to bring all the drill holes that are away from that section with 20 meters so it depends on you how you want that to be so let's leave that and choose to digitize that from the map canva which means that you're gonna digitize that by yourself map canva and you just go and click and drag to digitize a line now what are the things that you want to include in the uh, section it's gonna be the color the D survey and the downhole geology yes you want all of these and in case you have some uh, elevation uh, data or DEM or topography you will find all the different raster data in here and you can choose whatever topography that you want to use and call the section whatever you want so let's keep that which actually displaying I believe the Y or the X so let's click on OK and you can see that we have the section in here and uh, it looks just great so I believe that now we can see the different geology here and if I go to property and I go to each one of these uh, one by one and probably let's go and increase the size click on OK just to show you that you can actually this is the lithology that you know that formation if I go to let me show you another one probably this one and you can go and increase the size like to say 5 OK apply and click on OK and you can see that we're starting to see and this is actually a section and then what you can do maybe you can go and trace some polygons and create a section and plot that as a map so um, I hope this was informative and useful for you guys and if you really think that this is useful and uh, I really actually have uh, plenty of courses in mining packages and uh, in QJS I have like uh, a course uh, for this software to show you especially for geologists how to use this software or mining engineer mining engineers and uh, this channel is also all about that about uh, mining engineering stuff about uh, geological modeling GIS and everything about the mining industry the geology and geoscience in general I'll be also covering some uh, programming like Python programming related to uh, GIS modeling and geology in general if that's something that interests you make sure to subscribe to this channel because it's gonna be uh, very informative for you and uh, that's it for now see you in another video